Abby here, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing the new, or new again, <laughs> Lululemon Throwback Triple Zip Duffel Bag. But before I get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, so you can stay tuned to all my new videos dropping weekly, and so you can help the channel grow. So as I said, it's kind of a new item because this is a throwback item, which means it's a remake of a previously popular item from Lululemon that came out in the past. So this is my first time using this bag. I did not use the original, so I'm gonna be talking about my experiences with this one. If you have the original and you've liked it or you don't like it, definitely drop that in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I have this in the color trench black and looking at the color here versus the color online I definitely find the color representation pretty accurate here. So this currently goes for $168. So definitely a pricey bag. So now I'm going to show you the logo on this bag. So the first logo we have is right here at the front. So we have a metal logo here and we can see like the little symbol there and then the written one as well. We also have some logos right here on the little circles here. And we have the same thing at the back. We also have Lululemon on the zipper pull in the middle here, as you can see. All right, guys, so now I'm gonna show you all around inside of this bag. So this is the front of the bag. At the front here, we do have a zippered pocket. So this pocket extends to the bottom of the bag. So here is the inside. And once you get in here, it kind of spans the entire width down here. So the opening is smaller at the top and it gets a little bit wider. Next, we have our first zippered pocket in this triple zip. This is the inside of that. Next, we have basically a duplicate of that pocket, but on the other side, more storage. And these pockets are padded, guys, so if you're putting some electronics in here, like a laptop or something, there's a little bit of padding, which is nice. Now here we have the main storage in the middle. On this side of the bag here, we actually have two big mesh pockets, and they're quite large. We also have a large internal storage space in the middle. Coming over to the other side of the bag, we have a zippered pocket. You can see there's a little Lululemon like silicone patch right here. And there is a storage area for that. Inside, we do have a cute little message where it says items of importance. And this pocket is not super deep, but it's about the width of my hand. Coming over to the back of the bag, we have a drop-in pocket here. So this pocket is actually not as wide as the one on the front, but it's about this wide. And at the side, we have some drop-in pockets right here, which you can use for like water bottles and other little things. And all right, guys, now I'm gonna go ahead and try this on so you can see what it looks like on me. All right, guys, so here is the bag. There's a couple different ways you can hold it. It also has this little clip right here for you to kind of put both of the straps together, which is definitely pretty handy. So you can hold it like this. There is some light padding on the straps. You can also kind of throw it over your forearm. Depending on your arm size, you may or may not be able to kind of throw it right over your shoulder as well. So this bag does not come with like any crossbody straps or anything else. So this is the only strap that you can use to carry the bag. And we do have some leather on the strap right here just for a little bit extra grip and comfort. Or maybe it's a pleather fabric, I don't know, but we have that here as well. All right guys, if you find this video helpful so far, please go ahead and smash that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. So now I'm gonna go into the feature highlights about this bag. So it's great for casual wear on the go, wearing to the gym, for traveling, and more. It's made of a water repellent fabric. It has a spacious 25 liter capacity, multiple pockets for organization. It has a suitcase or trolley compatible sleeve. The dimensions of this bag are 17.7 inches by 9.1 inches by 11.8 inches, and it does fit most airlines carry on travel requirements. All right guys, so now I'm gonna show you what this duffel bag can hold, what I would typically put inside of my bag, and I'm gonna pack this as if I were going to the gym. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my phone in the bag. So I'm gonna put my phone in this front pocket here, the little drop-in pocket. So for easy access on the go, and this pocket is very large. It can fit, I think, every single smartphone on the market, even if you have like a huge one, like the S23 Ultra, for example. So I have a 500 milliliter water bottle. I'm gonna put that in this side here. And these water bottle pockets are quite tight. So if you have a big Yeti bottle, even if you have like the Lululemon water bottle, um, the name of it's escaping me right now, but I'll put that on screen. If you have that water bottle, that's not gonna fit in there as well. It's just the pockets are too small. And in the other side, I'm gonna be putting this uh, Lululemon water bottle in there as well. 
So now that I am staying hydrated, I'm gonna go ahead and pack the middle. So when I'm going to the gym, I like to bring like a laptop or tablet with me just to do like my calisthenic video workouts. So I have with me this Surface laptop, 13.5 inches. It does fit in here as well with some room to spare. So I have a change of clothes. So first off, I have a pair of joggers. Just gonna put that in the middle. Next I have a t-shirt all rolled up. A little towel, you know, for when you get sweaty at the gym. Awesome to have. Next up, I have a little scarf. So now in this zippered pocket right here, I'm gonna go ahead and put in a deodorant. I'm also gonna stick in there a lotion a little hand sanitizer. I also have a pair of socks, which I'm gonna just throw in one of these little mesh pockets on the other side. So the next item I have with me is my mini wallet. And I'm gonna be putting that in the second mesh pocket right beside the socks. That is all I'm gonna be putting in here. There's definitely more room. As you guys can see, there's a couple inches more, but I'm gonna stop it there because I don't like my bags to be super heavy. Another thing is we do have dual zippered pockets for this middle pocket only, but it's nice and handy because you can go ahead and kind of close it wherever you want to. I like to close mine in the middle. Flipping it over. At this little drop-in pocket at the back, I'm gonna go ahead and put a granola bar in there for some, you know, after workout, a little bit of a snack. I also have my car keys, which I'm gonna put in there as well. So finally, the last thing I would do is I would leave this pocket completely open and I'd be putting my sweaty like gym gear in here. It's nice to keep it separated. Just for example, I have with me a jacket. This is a defined jacket cropped, just so something's in there so you guys can see that it can be holding more stuff. But I love all the organization here. It's really great to just be able to separate so many things. And there we go. It is nice and full. This would be everything I would really need with me for the gym. All right, guys, so now I'm gonna show you kind of a little bit of a zipper demo here. So this bag has a lot of different zippers and pockets on it. So all of the zippers in my experience so far have been solid, no issues, no hiccuping, no catching, nothing. So starting off with this front one, then the back one, the middle, this one at the back, all the zippers are solid. So one great thing about this duffel bag is that it does have a suitcase or trolley compatible sleeve. The little drop-in pocket at the back. At the bottom, we have a zipper here, which you can open up. So I've gone ahead and opened it up. And now all you have to do when you have your suitcase, go ahead and slide it through. It's gonna fit through all standard suitcases. And now you can go ahead and carry it with you. Makes it a lot easier when you're traveling. You don't have to worry about your bag flopping all around because this strap just keeps it secure in place, which is fantastic when you're on the go, especially if you're at the airport running to catch a late flight. This is not gonna flop and flip on you. So I absolutely love when bags do have this little compatible sleeve. It makes them an awesome travel option. All right guys, so here's the tag for anybody interested in this information here. And all right guys, I have found some cons about this bag. So the first con for me is the price. It's expensive, $168 is a lot for a duffel bag. Um, I will say that it's definitely pretty functional, so you can use it in a lot of different ways, but it's pricey, you know? And I do not know why Lululemon prices their duffel bags so high. It's definitely something I don't like, I wish it was cheaper. Another con for me is that Lululemon does say that the strap is padded, which it is, but it's very thin padding. Like it's very, very thin. So I do wish it was a bit thicker because this is the only strap you have to hold the bag. And if you pack it pretty full, it can get a little bit fatiguing over time. And in addition to that, the strap is slippery, the material here. So when you put it over your shoulder, it easily slides right back down. So I can find that pretty annoying. If you're not kind of holding it like this with your arm there, it will fall off of your shoulder. Usually I just kind of hold it like this or I hold it in my hand. So I definitely would have preferred the fabric to be a little bit less slippery and I would have loved to see a crossbody strap as well because that would make it a little bit easier to kind of carry. If I can just put that over me and have it kind of on my side, that would have been awesome. But we do not have that here. And the last con for me are the water bottle pockets. Like I really wish that they were bigger than they are. They are very restrictive and small and they have no stretch. So if you have any type of water bottle that's bigger than a standard like plastic 500 milliliter it's probably not going to fit in here so i would have liked if they were a bit bigger as well 
And all right guys, considering the price, the quality, the color, the functionality, the comfort, and everything like that, I would go ahead and give this an 8.3 out of 10. And I definitely do give it a thumbs up. So if you guys are looking to pick up the Lululemon Throwback Triple Zip Duffel Bag here, I've gone ahead and left a link down in the description for you to use. And if there's anything I missed today that you wanna know, just go ahead and drop a comment below. Thanks for watching guys, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.